These are crystals of benzoic acid, a common preservative. And this is how I made it using materials obtained from the supermarket. Watch till the end to see how the crystals were made. For this procedure, you will require sodium benzoate and citric acid, which can be found as a preservative and acidity regulator respectively. Starting off, I weigh about 7.5 grams of sodium benzoate. Next, I dissolve it in an adequate amount of water. I continue adding water and stirring the solution until all the sodium benzoate has completely dissolved. After all the sodium benzoate has dissolved, I set the solution aside to start making the citric acid solution. I start by adding the citric acid crystals to the solution in excess. After dissolving all the citric acid, I bring back the sodium benzoate solution to start preparing the benzoic acid. As soon as the two solutions meet, a milky white precipitate is formed. This is the benzoic acid. This is a double displacement reaction in which insoluble benzoic acid and soluble sodium citrate is formed. Here you can see the benzoic acid up close. I continue mixing the solutions until all the benzoic acid has formed. Here you can see the benzoic acid that has settled to the bottom. The mixture is then filtered to remove the benzoic acid from the remaining solution. I continue washing the beaker with water to remove all the benzoic acid. Here, you can see the paste-like residue of the benzoic acid. Then, I move on to recrystallization, where I start by adding hot water to the benzoic acid. After stirring and letting it cool for a while, you can start to see crystals form on the surface of the water. After the solution has cooled down, tiny needle-like crystals of benzoic acid have formed. This recrystallization was done majorly to remove any impurities that may remain in the benzoic acid. Afterwards, with a smaller amount of benzoic acid, I performed the same recrystallization, but this time I allowed it to cool for longer, which produces larger crystals as shown in this clip.